Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets and Google Apps Script tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to do a very simple script where we're going to click on a checkbox and we're going to receive a pop-up asking if you are sure or not, for example, for checking terms and conditions, for canceling a subscriber, something similar. Let's see it in action. So I have some customers and I can subscribe them or cancel them. So normally I would click and that's it. What we're going to do in this script is that we're going to create a very, very simple pop-up where it just asks me if I'm sure. I could make a complex second part where I could do some additional questions and uh, add some uh, variables, but this is the most simple one. I either say OK or I cancel. If I hit OK, then it leaves the checkbox as it was. If I hit cancel, then just deletes it. Or if I hit another part of the screen, it also deletes it. Maybe we could also add a password in a second video or something similar. But this is the most simple version and then we can add up on, on top of that. So I'll invite you to my Patreon page or practicalsheets.com where you can subscribe and download the template of these and more than 150 videos. So you don't have to follow me through or just download the template and that's it. If not, just follow me along. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to all my Patreons. Let's begin. So I always like to start from scratch. So this is just a new sheet where I have some customers and I have a column where I can subscribe them or cancel them or whatever you want. So we're going to insert a checkbox. Very easily insert and then click checkbox. Normally the, the most basic checkbox is true when checked and not true or false when not checked. This won't have any effect on our script today, but it's good for you to know that you could change this and have some custom value if you would like, and we would change this in data, data validation. And here you can, in advanced options, you could have custom cell values. This could be useful in some scripts, okay? Let's leave it as it is for the moment. So let's go to extension subscript and let's start our script. The first thing I recommend you to do is to call your project something, let's say a pop-up from checkbox, and also call your function something. I normally like to do a kind of index of pseudo algorithm of what we're going to do and leave it as a comment. So the first thing we're going to do is to see where the user is at. So find out what did the user click or where did the user click better yet once i know i can if necessary trigger the pop-up and finally depending on the answer if it says yes or no delete the check if cancelled or if it says no okay that's it a very basic three steps script we could add some complexity in a follow-up video but for now i think this would work so how do we find what the user clicked there are several ways we could do it the easiest way i find i found is to use this spreadsheet app dot get active range this gives us the exact range where the user has clicked or has modified or has typed up something okay and let's call this range Secondly, how do we click the pop? We trigger the pop up depending on where did the user click. For example, if the user changes something here, I don't want to trigger the pop up here. Or if we have another sheet and the user writes something in the column B of sheet two, I also don't want the pop up to trigger there. I only want it to trigger when we are in the sheet one, the order name you want, in the column B or whatever column you want, and starting on row two. Because if I change this to subscribe three, I don't want this to trigger my pop-up. So I want three conditions. First, that the column is column two. Second, that the row is more than one. And third, that the sheet is sheet one. This is why I need my range. And I will access some methods to ask for the column, the row, and the sheet. And we're going to use an if statement to see if these three conditions add up. So the first condition is the column. So the column, I'll get it with 
range dot get column and the column in my case it has to be equal to two then i'll do ampersand ampersand it means i'm going to add another mandatory condition and the second condition will be range dot get row now i need my row to not be row number one so i could do this in a, in a couple of ways the easiest way is to say oh i forgot to put open and close parentheses the easiest way say is different than one but maybe you'll have two or three or four headers in your project or in your table so it's easier actually to put greater than one so i i just wanted to work from two onwards but maybe you wanted to work from three onwards so then you would say more than two or more than three or whatever you want so it's better to have this greater it gives us a bit more flexibility and finally i will say that the, the sheet where i'm at the name of the sheet where i'm at has to be this exact name sheet one so if i have multiple sheets i don't want them to be affected by this script so this do range dot get sheet but the sheet is not enough because this returns a sheet object i need the name of the sheet so once i'm in the sheet i'll get to this other method called get name the name of the sheet and the name of the sheet should be sheet one in my case your case could be different if these three conditions are met then this will trigger my pop-up well actually i forgot one thing well here in the trigger the pop-up i forgot to actually trigger the pop-up how do we trigger the pop-up this is the easiest part probably spreadsheet up dot get ui this is my user interface here i can access a lot of elements in my interface like the sidebar like uh, models basic pop-ups the menu and more so we'll say dot and we're going to generate the easiest of all pop-ups the alert just will show something to the user and that's it what do i want to show the user let's say i want to say are you sure is here more simple than that not possible so let's try it out let's save for now it should trigger my pop-up only in the column and in the sheet that i specify so let's say i write something here and let's hit run new permissions advanced go to pop up from checkbox or the title you gave the project accept and let's see it didn't work because i'm not in column two i'm in column three and if i stay in column two and i click this and i hit run and i go here now my pop-up has changed but if i'm here in column a it shouldn't work perfect it did it did nothing and if i'm in column b but of this other sheet it shouldn't work either perfect so now i'm triggering the pop-up where i want it to so what i want to know first is once the, the pop-up is triggered it here and then run i want to see what did the user click basically did it hit okay or outside of the box these are the two options i have right now and how do i take a look at this we're going to store the answer this alert in a, an answer variable you could call it whatever you want and this will return if a person clicked okay it will return the text okay now i can have a conditional that will say that if answer is not equal to okay if it cancelled if it says no or right now we have the most basic setup for the alert but i will show you in a couple of seconds a couple of other possibilities so if it's not okay then what i wanted to do is to delete this whatever the the user wrote that basically is the check so how do i do it I have the range so i will say range clear content and that's it cc as that again this is the most simple version let's save it let's do i'm here and let's run it so i'm going to cancel and it deletes and let's do the other possibility i'm going to click i'm going to run and then i'll say okay 
and it leaves it okay so i'm just missing well maybe a couple of things but the most important thing that i'm missing is a trigger so i don't have to come back here and run it manually so we're going to create a new function called on edit it has to be called like that and inside this function we're going to insert our pop-up from checkup box open and close and this is the only missing ingredient now let's try it out without having to go to our app script let's click and now i have it let's click ok and let's do the other case let's click cancel and it clears it okay now this has a lot of things where we could go in a more complex project for example i'm going to show you just one example here in my alert i could do comma and i could uh, you know what i'm going to do uh zoom out because here you cannot see really well the the help again comma and i see that i could add a button set how do i add a button set i have to first save my get ui in an ui variable so let's do ui now i'm going to replace this this by ui why am i doing this so i can now here also access my ui and now what i want is this button set dot and i could have different buttons you can see that the one i have is ju just says okay but i could have a more complex one that says yes no cancel for example let's save and let's try it again now i have different options but the way we set this up only if i don't click okay actually maybe this will won't work because i think here i have to say yes let's see let's let's click yes and it is not working because in this case i think it has to have to be yes let's save it again and let's try it out perfect but if i do it again and hit cancel for example or no or whatever then it deletes the check the other thing is that if i delete this it's also bring me the pop-up maybe you want this maybe you don't or maybe you want to separate so in this case we could have another conditional that asks for the value if this is true or this is false if the if it's checked or unchecked but again maybe i'm digressing and maybe i'm leaving this uh, in a more complex manner okay for from now i think you have at least a minimum viable product that you could start with and then make it more complex as you go. I hope it's useful. And again, if you want to download this template and copy and paste and more than 150 more, I'll wait for you in the Patreon page and practicalsheets.com. Thank you so much. See you next time, maybe in the second part of this video where we could do more complex scenarios. Bye.